So I'm gonna sandblast it and uh, get ready to paint it, get it ready for the truck, and then I got the transmission transfer case I'm gonna be doing. But I figure I'll start with the tri uh, drive line. So I got it down here. I figure before I sandblast it, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the U joints off of it. Now I've owned this truck for 20 years. And in them 20 years, I've never replaced a U-joint on this truck. Now, most people say, oh, well, you've never really used it. Yeah, you've never seen me with a 920 truck chain sitting on the rear end of it and a great big heavy set of V-bar on the back, on the front, pushing snow with front bumper. Heavy, wet snow. Yeah, I've used the heck out of this truck. Honestly, I don't know why I haven't had to replace U-joints. Um, I just been real lucky. Uh, I know guys that every year are replacing U joints and not doing half of what I've done with this truck. But anyway, here's what I, we're gonna go ahead and take these U joints off. I got my. I'm gonna cheat. Now you can beat them out. I got a shop press, so make it easier. So start off with. I've already kind of started on this is get all the you got these retaining clips here that act these c-clip type looking things that hold your drive shaft knuckles in now this thing has got this weird strap right here i don't know whether you can see it the only place i've ever seen those used is from the factory I have a hard time believing that a 1983 would still have factory original U-joints in it, but hey, it might be. Let me get that up there. But you can see that strap running down through there. That's the only place I've ever seen use one of those is factory. So these could be factory U-joints. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. They're going to come out. Uh, as I say, I've used the heck out of this truck. I'm just praying I got some AutoZone uh, U-joints. I'm hoping they're just half as strong as what these have been. So, I just got a, uh, a chisel, a ball-peen hammer. And just take your screwdriver and get cleaned out. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. Probably not at all. Yeah, I don't think you can see it at all. Well, I'll get it punched out and I'll show you what you're dealing with. I just take a ch chisel and a hammer and usually fight. Come on. Now you're going to make a lot of me. Okay, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that either, but I don't know whether you can see that little gap in there. Usually what I do is try to take a screwdriver, be careful, and wiggle it a little. Sometimes they'll pop out. This one doesn't appear like it's going to, so I'm going to work the other side of it. They're sometimes a little bit of a pain because you put them in from the top. And they're hard to get a good bite on with the chisel to get them out. You just kind of work at them a little. And there we go. Now you can see that how it's popped up there and just take them and that's what it looks like just a little metal clip that goes in behind now at this point I'm sure what I tend to do is try to make this a little easier on myself
Yeah, no, I should have had it. All my tools around and I didn't. What I do at this point to make getting that second clip out a little bit easier, grab yourself a big socket that'll the cap will fit down into. Now this is the one here that I already got the clip off of. Just take and center your socket on there and then grab a socket that just is just under the dimension of your U-joint. Now don't do this with an extension that you tend to use. I use this is an old beat up extension that I've used for hammering on for a long time. Uh, that's all I keep it around for is this type of thing. That way I'm not hammering on my sockets. It's a cheapy extension. Why it says Craftsman on it. But if you can get that to move down a little. You can also do this in the press. Yeah, because that thing's not moving. So, you know what we might do? Let's move over to it. Press. That mu joint's been in there a long time. Okay, we'll move over to the press. Okay, so what I've got, pretty much the exact setup, except that's not set up quite correctly. Give me a second. Same setup. I just had on the floor. I set my larger socket, which we'll call the receiver, on the bottom. Set my smaller socket on top. Just make sure that when you put this socket in, that it's centered as almost as centered as can't you can get it on that anvil coming down, or else. I mean, you're putting, a, you know, this is a 20-ton jack. That'll put a heck of a lot of pressure on that thing. And if that sucker comes shooting out of there, it's going to hurt. Then what I do, I've seen, you know, people that just sit there and hold it. And you can do that. I've done it. You can just sit here with one hand, you know, on the back of the drive shaft and uh, get that. But... I just use this little stand here to hold the back of the drive shaft up square. That way I don't have to be overly concerned about it. It's just a one I use when I'm using my uh, miter saw to pull stuff across it. But and let's see if I can shoot myself with this thing. There she goes. Okay. All well, you gotta move it, you know, just a, a, a fraction. You don't need it moved a whole lot. Yeah. But by doing that, take that out. See how much it pushed that other cap out? Well, that frees this clip up so now I should be able to get it out a little easier so I'll do that real quick pretty much the exact same idea as before you just take a hammer and chisel and knock it out of there see how much easier that was or you know you didn't see how cheap it was Put this way, three little taps on it, and it the uh, clip just shot behind my press. But now we're gonna set it right back up in here. Grab our socket. Tighten our 
press up. And just gonna press it down. There we go. That one should be popped out. Now, a lot of times you'll have this situation where it didn't quite pop all the way out, but yet it did. I mean, these bearings are actually still in actually good shape. I mean, this U-joint, if I wasn't doing everything I was with my truck, I wouldn't bother replacing these. They're good and tight. There was no play in them. But being that I'm going through all of this trouble, now when you get ready to do this side, turn your socket upside down. Drop it behind the press at least two or three times. So that you gotta go and find it. I mean, you just can't do this without at least dropping it two or three times. Yeah, there's that clip that I took out. And tighten the press up. We're just going to push the cross now the other way and push that other cap off. Boink! And turn it over. And there we go. And sometimes you gotta fight to get these out a little, a little bit. And wiggle them around, they'll come out. But yeah, there's that strap that I was talking about. You can get a bit, much better view. Don't know. Like I say, that's the only place I've ever seen them used. Um, also, if you look, this has the metal caps on it, where most of your replacements nowadays are all got a little rubber deal right there. So, those could be factory original. What does this say on it, Detroit? Whether you can read that, but it actually says Detroit on it. So I would say that was probably factory original. Then again, that could be a manufacturer, I don't know. Um, who knows? Anyway, now we're going to do this other side. <laughs> 